Hi, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store, and today we are going to revisit the Carla brand of ukuleles. Why are we revisiting? Well, I covered 16 instruments in my previous Carla video, but that was just scratching the surface of what is a massive, massive catalogue of ukuleles. Carla, just unrivaled in their choice, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to look at tenors and baritones. If you look at the description of this video, you'll see a list of the instruments that I'm going to run down for you. And if there's a ukulele missing, it may be in our previous Carla video. So what I'm going to do is put a link to that in the description for this video as well. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a lot to run through. Uh, 18 ukuleles. I might have a break at half time, have my half time orange, switch ends, all of that stuff. And yeah, let's begin. Okay, the first ukulele we're going to look at today is the Carla K-A-T. This is the entry point for Carla ukuleles in the tenor size. Uh, this along with its companion models, the K-A-S, the K-A-C and the K-A-B, soprano, constant, baritone. This is where you would start if you wanted a Carla ukulele. Now, this is Spec-wise, there's nothing particularly remarkable about the Carla K-A-T. You can get quite a few different instruments around this price that are very similar. I mean, sometimes if you're not looking close enough, they might look identical. So what makes the Carla K-A-T a bit different? Well, this is a laminate mahogany top, back and sides with a cream plastic binding. You'll notice that some of the other ukes around this price don't have any binding. Uh, this has a mahogany neck with a new bone nut and saddle and a walnut fingerboard and bridge and the nut width is 35mm on the standard Carla tenors. Uh, it's got some closed back tuners. Yeah, just a great starting point around the £100 mark. Uh, it kind of goes up and down along with its shade rates and stuff but yeah, a great place to start. I'm going to give it a play and see what you think. Okay, the second ukulele we're going to look at today is the 13th anniversary Carla tenor. The code for it being the K-A-T-H-R-T-H-T. -T. It's a long code, it's quite hard to remember. So this is the same spec as the previous ukulele we've looked at, but it's, it's a red finish obviously. So this is a laminate mahogany top, back and sides. It's got cream binding but it also has the black ply, so it's a kind of classier looking binding. And the rosette around the sound hole, which is not on the K-A-T. This has that new bone nut and saddle with 35mm nut and the walnut fingerboard and bridge. Um, other features as well is this has binding on the neck, which really helps if you're playing in the dark to see the, uh, the fret dots. Um, I've always really liked binding on the neck, uh, but it is an acquired taste. And yeah, apart from being very, very red, the other thing to note is uh, upgraded tuners. So this has some really nice cream button uh, open back tuners. and kind of nice identifying 13th anniversary logo on the headstock. Uh, this also comes in a gig bag, which most of the Carlas don't. Um, so make note of that when purchasing. We factor in the fact that you're gonna have to pay a little bit more for a gig bag as well with most Carlas. Uh, this instrument though does come with a gig bag. So let's give it a play and let's see what you think. Okay, third ukulele of the day today is the Carla K-A-E-B-Y-T. Um, but this is actually two models because we're going to feature the E-B-Y-T and the E-B-Y-T-E, which has a preamp and a jack socket so you can plug it into an amplifier. So this is one of the most popular Carla models we do here at SUS. This has a laminate ebony top, back and sides. It's really nice striped ebony with maple binding around the outside, which really sets off that dark wood. Hope you can see that in the video. Um, another mahogany neck on this with the walnut fingerboard and bridge, 
and I believe that because this is a black material, I may be wrong, but I believe this is tusk, which is a synthetic um, ivory kind of material. T U S Q, I think, is the uh, the you know the play on words there. Uh, Walnut fingerboard and bridge, I may have already covered with the 35 mil nut and those same open back tuners that you get on the anniversary model, but with black buttons. I've always really liked this ukulele. Let's see what you guys think. Okay, and the fourth ukulele of the day today is very much the companion to the ebony ukulele I've just featured. This is the Zirakoti tenor, which is the K-A-Z-C-T-T. So Zirakoti, structurally, texturally, texturally, is not too dissimilar to this ebony one we've just looked at, but you do have a few subtle differences. This has a gloss finish first of all. So in theory it's quite a bit brighter than the ebony one we've just featured. Uh, it has black plastic binding instead of that maple binding there and they all look very very different with the Zero Coaties. You know this one has a really nice orange streak all the way around the body. Some of them don't have that but then some of them might have wild streaks all around. I would recommend if you're looking at this model get in touch with the dealer selling it, preferably us, and uh, if we've got more than one in stock we can fire you over a photo of a couple of them. You won't find many shops selling Carla ukuleles at this price where they list each one individually. Uh, it's, it's just too time consuming and what you end up with is uh, a lot of people looking at one and going, oh I want that one, I want that one. And when that one's sold it, it makes the others look less special when in fact they're all very special. It's very rare you get one that looks a bit boring and quite often we will uh, we'll reject that one, I'll be completely honest with you. So. Yeah, uh, mahogany neck on this, but it's a satin neck. So you've got the gloss finish on the body, but you still have the satin neck, which is a really, really good feature. The walnut fingerboard and bridge. Uh, it does have the black plastic binding there with the dots and some closed back tuners with the black buttons. Yeah, Zero Coty tenors and ebony tenors, both very popular ukuleles here at SUS. And I mean, they really make a statement just looking at them, don't they? Uh, let's give it a play and see what you think. Okay, here's a crowd pleaser for you. This is the Carla Travel Tenor, which is the SSTU-T. Uh, this is special because it's half the thickness of a normal tenor ukulele. So if I take a normal Carla Tenor and I take the Travel Uke and you put them side by side there, I mean that's a third of the thickness actually, isn't it? Yeah. Just a really thin cannon of a ukulele. They are really loud, really vibrant. And there's just something about how they do this that's just a bit magical, really. So this is a solid spruce top with laminate mahogany back and sides and a kind of curve in the, the back there, which I imagine is a design feature to get more volume out of the instrument. This has the walnut fingerboard and bridge with the Nubo nut and saddle and the 35mm nut. And this has a mahogany neck with those closed back tuners we've seen on some of the other models around the same kind of price. Price wise at the moment we're very much in the kind of intermediate price point for maybe improvers or beginners that want to buy an instrument that will last them a while. You're looking around the kind of 150 to 250 pound price point at the moment with these ukuleles. Don't don't be put off by the size of it. We give this one a listen now and you'll see what I mean. It's It's got all the guts and all of the vibrancy of a ukulele with a traditional thickness back and sides.
Okay, the next ukulele we're going to look at, this is, this is what most of us, when we think of a ukulele before we play, this is the kind of thing we're thinking of. This is the Carla K-A-S-M-H-T Solid Mahogany Tenor. So this has a solid top, back and sides, with a mahogany neck, walnut fingerboard and bridge, and a very cool slotted headstock with Carla's own brand, open back tuners. Really good tuners, these. Um, yeah, the this is the traditional option. It's kind of got a warmer, softer tone to it. Hopefully that will come across through your speakers when you hear it played in a moment. Uh, my favourite feature is the tortoiseshell binding, which you might be able to pick up there on the camera. Yeah, just another great ukulele. Currently, as we enter early 2019, this is around the £200 mark. Just one of my favourite ukuleles in the colour range. We'll give it a play and see what you think. Okay, this next ukulele. This is a very shiny, very vibrant looking uke. This is the Carla K-A-M-G-T. This is the Mango Tenor. It's a, a laminate mango, it's a laminate top, back and sides, with a really nice, um, it looks like koa, but it's probably acacia binding. I'd have to check the spec on that. It'll be in the listing. Uh, with the abalone rosette. This has walnut fingerboard and bridge with a new bone nut and saddle and a 35 mil nut and comes with those close back tuners that we have seen on some of the other laminate ukuleles at this kind of price. So th this got a gloss finish as well. Uh, mango is quite a sweet sounding word, but the gloss finish gives it a little bit of a uh, punch, a little bit of uh, attack. Um, but yeah, a really good all rounder for somebody looking for a kind of second ukulele, something that they can kind of upgrade to and will last them a long time. Yeah, big fan of these, let's see what you think. Okay, this next ukulele is one that we featured very, very recently in our top 10 ukuleles of 2018 video. This is the Carla KA ATP CTG. Uh, this has a solid cedar top with laminate acacia back and sides. This one in particular has a really cool mahogany neck. Look at that, you might be able to pick up that in the, in the videos I've done. Uh, with Paduke binding on the top, back, and all the way up the fingerboard. It's just a really classy, classical guitar vibe ukulele. Has a slotted headstock with those Carla tuners we've seen on previous ukuleles in this range today. And the 35mm nut with the walnut fingerboard and bridge and the tusk nut and saddle. Uh, I love this one, I'm sure you will too. If you want something with a bit of volume or you're playing a ukulele group and you want to be heard over the pack, uh, this is probably the best ukulele in this video today for that job. Let's give it a play. Okay, the next ukulele on the list today is the Carla K-A-F-M-T-G, uh, also known as the FMT because this model has changed a few times over the years. But what's the current incarnation? Well, this ukulele has a solid spruce top with really cool, quirky flame maple back and sides. 
and this one also has that really nice, uh, it might be koa, it might be acacia rosette around the sound hole and binding that kind of ties it all together nicely. A mahogany neck with the, oh, maple neck, sorry, maple neck with the walnut fingerboard and bridge and the tusk nut, uh, the new bone nut and saddle. I've done a few too many of these in a row, can you tell? So let me just run that bit again. So this has got a new bone nut and saddle with a maple neck. Walnut fingerboard and bridge. This also has the closed back tuners that we've seen on quite a few of the ukuleles we've been featuring today, but with black buttons, which is a nice touch. Yeah, another very popular ukulele. Spruce and cedar ukuleles, just, we can't get enough of them. They, they seem to be a very modern sound. So what you get from this is you get something that's balanced but has quite a lot of projection. Uh, the FMT would be a great choice for somebody playing in a band, much like the ATP CTG that we've just featured. Good ukulele, let's give it a play. Okay, and the final tenor that I'm going to feature today is another really ever popular Carla ukulele. This is the Carla K-A-S-A-T, formerly known as the A-S-A-C-T. So this ukulele is solid acacia, solid acacia on the top, the back and the sides, and has gone through quite a few different changes over the years. This has always been uh, before the ATP CTG came along. This was always the Carla ukulele that brought people into the shop to, to try it. I think um, it's price-wise, it sits really well. It's cheaper than a Pono, um, but it's a kind of noticeable, all solid improvement on some of the other ukuleles around 200 pounds. So for around 300 pound, this ukulele sits really nice price-wise for somebody that wants something a bit special, but doesn't necessarily want to go up to kind of 500, 600 pound where the um, kind of non-Chinese made um, smaller factory run ukulele sit. So the SAT is, its current incarnation has a walnut fingerboard and bridge with the really cool, I call them swirly inlays. I think it's meant to be like a buffalo horn inlay or I can't remember, I'll put it in the bottom of the screen but over the years I've just called it the swirly inlays. But with a maple binding and a really nice um, herringbone style inlay on the top there. The back also has a maple binding with the little maple cap on the heel. Yeah, acacia from one to the next can also look very different, but Carla's acacia tends to be fairly consistent. If you look at this ukulele now and you look at 10 others, you'll find that one won't be significantly prettier than the other. They'll all look very pretty. I, I've not seen one that didn't have any figuring on it because generally acacia uh, when done right like this will always have a little bit of that kind of um, uh, textured kind of map like feel to it. Uh, this has the slotted headstock as well uh, with those Carla tuners, a 35mm new bone black nut and saddle. But yeah, really popular, traditionally popular. For many years we had our own uh, kind of exclusive model which had a cutaway and a pickup. That is also available so if you have a listen to this and you think well I'd quite like to plug this in there is a model known as the SATEC and a non cutaway SATE that are sometimes available. But yeah, great ukulele, let's give it a play. <laughs> Okay, and the first baritone we're going to look at today is the Carla KAB. But for the purposes of this video and stock availability as I film it, I'm actually looking at the Carla KABE, which is the same ukulele, but with a factory fitted pickup. This ukulele has the laminate mahogany top, back and sides. Uh, it, it looks fairly plain, I think we can all agree, but this is the entry level point for Carla. 
and you're not paying for something that's kind of all frills, but you do get something that is very well finished, looks good, sounds good, feels good. There's an element of quality control with this Carla model that you don't necessarily get with other ukuleles at the same price. Um, the Walnut Fingerboard and Bridge with a 38mm nut on the Carla Baritones. And yeah, a little bit of pla black plastic binding going up the fingerboard there, ready to go with the dots along with the cream on the outside. Uh, yeah, a great starting point for baritone players out there. Let's give it a play. Okay, the next ukulele we're going to feature today is the Carla K-A-B-G. What does the G stand for? What well, stands for gloss. I think Carla agree with what I just said and the Carla K-A-B is just a little bit too plain for some. Some people want an instrument that they just want to kind of pick up, hold and cuddle and go, oh I love your instrument, let's do this. And this ukulele ticks that box for quite a few people. For about £10 more than the Carla K-A-B, this ukulele has a gloss finish with the um, three ply binding. So you've got a black, white, black, white, and then cream kind of finish there on the binding going around. Uh, same spec otherwise as the previous ukulele. You've got the same closed back tuners on the KABG with a 38 mil nut, walnut fingerboard and bridge. And the nut is made of new bone, as is the saddle. Yeah, great ukulele. A bit brighter than the KAB and certainly a bit fancier looking. Let's give it a play. Okay, and the next ukulele is the next step up from the KABG, which is the Carla KASBG. So this is the solid spruce top baritone. It has the same laminate gloss mahogany back and sides as the KABG, with black plastic binding and a little cream layer as well there that you probably can't even pick up in the video. And this has the walnut fingerboard and bridge with a 38mm nut, new bone nut and saddle and those same closed back Carla tuners. Seems to be a running theme on the baritones. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a play. Let's see what you guys think. Okay, the next ukulele on the list today, it's a bit orange, isn't it? It's a bit stripy, isn't it? Yeah, this is the Carla K-A-B-E-M. So this is the kind of next level up to the Carla K-A-B and K-A-B-G. This has a laminate mahogany top, back and sides, but as you can see, it's exotic mahogany with some real stripe in it. They all have this as well, really nice kind of tiger stripes across the whole thing with some black plastic binding to tie the whole thing together. This has a walnut fingerboard and bridge with a new bone nut and saddle. Uh, the closed back tuners and for those of you joining us from the listing this has a 38mm nut. Anyway let's give it a play and see what you think. Okay, now this one's another really cool throwback. This is the Carla K-A-S-M-H-B. So this is the solid mahogany baritone. Uh, much like the solid mahogany tenor that we talked about earlier in the video, this ukulele 
it just kind of oozes tradition it oozes class it's got a soulful sound to it it's got a warmer voicing this has a satin finish with solid mahogany top back and sides it's got the same tortoiseshell binding on the top and back as the previous uh, solid mahogany tenor we looked at with mahogany neck and that slotted headstock with the carla tuners the baritone does have the 38 mil nut which begs the question there aren't that many people making tenors with 38 millimeter nuts Carla, as you know, have a 35mm nut now, but the baritones of 38, if you're really struggling with a thin neck tenor, it might not hurt if you've got particularly big hands or you're really struggling for space on the fingerboard, maybe to try a baritone. You can always get a set of strings. We do a, couple, we do a set we've put together ourselves, the Quila Maker set, that can tune baritones to GCEA, and they work very, very well. And you get something that's a bit thicker sounding than a tenor ukulele but might help somebody who's really struggling to get to grips with that size um the smhb is uh, it's my favorite baritone in the range personally if that helps because it has something about it that reminds me of kind of harmony guitars and harmony ukuleles and old martin baritones it's just got something cool and vibey about it but anyway let's give it a play and see what you guys think next ukulele we're going to look at today is probably the most popular baritone we sell at the moment here at SUS. This is the Carla K-A-A-B-P-C-T-G, which is the solid cedar top with laminate acacia back and sides. Has a gloss finish with that really cool gorgeous red paduke binding going all around it and up the fingerboard. This one also has the slotted headstock with the 38mm nut. Uh, the walnut fingerboard and bridge and the new bone nut and saddle yeah this ukulele is like a tiny classical guitar and that's not a bad thing what you get as well with the kind of overall carla build is you get something that still feels and sounds like a ukulele but if you play classical guitar and you wanted something that you could put in your collection right next to your classical guitar <laughs> this is the one to go for isn't it uh yeah uh, a great ukulele whether it's tuned dgbe or gcea uh, and a firm favourite for everyone here. I highly recommend giving this one a try. Give it a listen, see what you guys think. Okay, and the final ukulele I'm going to look at today is the Carla K-A-S-A-B, formerly known as the A-S-A-C-B. Now, this ukulele has traditionally been very popular for us as well. For quite a few years, back in the early days of Southern Uke Store, this was one of the only baritones we could, um, we could get hold of consistently. Uh, and I found that for a couple of years, this along with the Ohana BK-35G, uh, they were the two baritone ukuleles that everybody asked for. Anyone looking for a baritone uke, that was the one that people had reviewed online, that was the one that their friends had tried. And this is great, and this is well respected and well revered with good reason. This is a solid acacia, top, back and sides, and the current incarnation has a walnut binding just around there, with the herringbone binding going over the top as well, just for a little bit more classy decoration. You also have that herringbone uh, sound hole rosette with the swirly inlays, the walnut fingerboard and bridge and the black new bone slash tusk nut and saddle. This one also has a slotted headstock and the carla tunes and a 38mm nut width. Yeah, this is a nice sweet sound and uke to end it on today. One of my favourites. Let's give it a play and see what you think.
Okay, so there's 18 Carla ukuleles in the books for all of you, so you can hear them and you can compare them without having to come all the way into the shop and try them if you can't. We do have a real shop though, it's in Bournemouth on the south coast of England in the United Kingdom. A lot of you in the comments ask about whether we have a real shop. This isn't my house, I, I have a lot of instruments but not that many uh, and not this many on the floor down here. So. <laughs> Yeah, if you have any questions about the video or about something ukulele related, you can email me at alex at ukulele.co.uk or you can call the shop and one of the guys, not just me, any of them, on 01202 Um I've really enjoyed this video. In a couple of weeks' time, I plan on doing a soprano concert Carla video. So if there's any soprano concerts that you want featured in particular, please comment on this video here. Like and subscribe to the channel because uh, we're doing a lot of these uh, these videos now, kind of averaging one a week, sometimes two a week when we can. Uh, I'm Alex Beds and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thank you.